This odd cloud is nicknamed a hole punch cloud because it looks like someone punched a giant hole in it. There are a few things happening here. The layer of bubbly clouds on the outside are altocumulus clouds made of water droplets that are actually below freezing. That's called supercooled. The cloud in the middle is made of ice crystals that are slowly falling. This type of cloud is also called a fall streak. The hole also has a technical name of cavum, the Latin word for cavity. Hole punch clouds happen when an airplane flies through a layer of altocumulus or cirrocumulus clouds, upsetting the balance so that some of the supercooled water instantly freezes. That starts a chain reaction where more ice forms as a small cirrus cloud and eats out a circle in the cloud. The entire cloud can drift dozens or even hundreds of miles, slowly changing shape. It's something that can be seen by a satellite, but you have to look very closely to find. On a December morning in 2003, southern Mississippi had a series of hole punch clouds. Many of them stretched out creating canals in the clouds. That happened as airplanes flew right at the level of the clouds for a while. Those are known as ice canals. Here's how it all looks over several hours from satellite over North Carolina. From the ground, an ice canal shows the path of an airplane in the layer of supercooled clouds as the water droplets transform to ice crystals. Here are more fall streaks and ice canals passing over Long Island, New York. With just the right amount of cloud cover, they are not unusual in high traffic flight corridors. On this satellite loop that moves with the clouds, watch how the holes and canals evolve over Michigan. Take a look at it again. Hole punch clouds can happen naturally, but they are certainly increased by aircraft traffic. Those, along with ice canals, show just one way air traffic impacts the environment in a fascinating way. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.